I should note that I did take the diaphragm out of the uh, horn. It had quite a bit of corrosion around the outside edge, so in the process of cleaning it up, I wire brushed it all down. And uh, I'm just, I put some a light coat of primer on it, and I'm just going to put a light coat of paint on it because I don't want uh, I don't want to deaden the sound of the horn. So I'm just going to put a light coat of silver like that, just to protect it. And uh, the second part of that diaphragm that goes on top of it is actually made out of aluminum. I've cleaned it up already too. You can see that. That's the aluminum disc that goes with it. And uh, when it goes in the horn, it actually sits right on top of there like that. I also thought you might be interested in seeing how this uh, diaphragm actually works on here. It's based on an electromagnet and uh, this this uh, piece here is weighted and it's on a, a spring down in there you see that okay and uh, then there's a set of contact points set of contact points right there and when you beep the horn it makes this contact hit here <coughs> excuse me and then this goes vibrates up and down and as you can see, it makes this thing here move. And this is what the diaphragm actually sits on and is attached to. And so it very quickly moves that diaphragm up and down. And that's what gives it the sound that we hear. Uh, though you don't associate it with being uh, something moving like that. But it's moving very fast. I thought you might be interested in seeing how that actually functions.